Uh, well, welcome everybody. I'll uh, call this meeting to order. This is a meeting of the uh, City of Boise's Open Space and Clean Water Advisory Committee. Um, I think we can start with um, a roll call. Prior. Here. Donahue. Here. Elliot. Herber. Here. Myers. Here. Emily. Here. Rayburn. Here. Okay, seems like seems like that's everybody. Thanks for being patient while I kind of navigate with my one screen here. Um, all right, so the uh, first order of business under new business is to um, approve the minutes from the May 5th, 2021 meeting. Um, is, there a, is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from May 5th. I'll second it. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, is there any discussion? All right, all in, all in favor of approving the May 5th, 2021 minutes, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, the minutes are approved. Thank you very much. The next item on the agenda is to uh, discuss the improvement project application for the Golden Eagle Autobahn Society. Um, Superintendent Arkel, can I turn that over to you? Sure. Uh, so this is picking up from our discussion in May, Madam Chair and committee members. Um, we had before us uh, an application for an improvement project that was submitted by the Golden Eagle Audubon Society. Hopefully you've all had a chance at this point to look through it. Um, we discussed it back in May and had left it where, um, you know, Sean Finn and the applicant Liz Littman are here. They both were at the last meeting as well. Um, at that time, we had opened it up for questions. There were a few, but not many. I had said, go ahead and follow up with me if there's any additional questions. I did not receive any additional questions. So at this point, um, I think if the committee is prepared, I would be looking for a recommendation from you all to take to council as to whether or not this improvement project should be funded. All right, thanks very much for that. Um, does anybody on the committee have any, any questions or any anything they'd like to discuss about this project? I guess I was confused. I thought it was a checkup on something that we had already approved. Uh, no, we did not make Madam Chair committee members. We did not I would get a recommendation from the committee at that time. Okay. So um, just as a quick overview, this is restoration project along the Boise River within uh, public properties owned by a few different entities. They're requesting $38,000. <coughs> Um, mainly for materials and supplies. Um, at the last meeting, although we didn't get a recommendation, it did seem like a lot of the committee members were interested in the project. Yeah, that's my recollection as well. And I believe the total budget, and I, I think you might have said it, but it, it kind of caught up in the connection here was, I think, $48,000. And it's, it's almost entire, I mean, just tons and tons of volunteer labor. And it's a, it's just, a, it's a huge area around the river that they are um, hoping to be able to restore. I feel, I feel good about this project. Um, so I, you know, I, I'm in support of it and I'm, I'm interested, you know, I'm interested in hearing if any other committee members have questions or concerns or there's any, any, any discussion about it or if um, the committee would like to move forward with the vote. I would say it's one of the most well thought out proposals we've ever had. And the amount of work that went into this is a lot. And especially get all these different stakeholders involved in the area that it covers. Um, I, I'm, I'm impressed uh, because we've seen other proposals that are just things. This is, this is really well, well thought out. And I would add that they've done a lot of pilot projects that kind of show support of it and that it would be successful. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah, I, I agree. All right. Well, if there if there isn't any um, 
If there isn't any additional discussion or questions, um, I will uh, entertain a motion to make a recommendation to the council to um, fund this project. I'll make that motion to uh, fund in total the GEAS. And also the improvement application. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Matt. Uh, Sarah and Doug, is that is that language going to work, or do you need something more specific? That's fine. Okay, sounds good. Um, all in favor of funding this project, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any discussion? All right, the motion passes. The committee recommends um, to the city council that they uh, fund this project. So Madam Chair, I'll just interject a little bit and remind folks the process moving forward. Um, now that I have a recommendation from the committee, we will uh, update council with this recommendation either in a work session or through a memo and um, get you know their thoughts and obviously share with them the, the full application. Um, and should the should the city council approve the recommendation to move forward with funding, then I would work with the Golden Eagle Autobahn Society on an agreement um, that would facilitate the implementation of the project. So I'll keep you updated. <laughs> uh, Superintendent Arkell, just out of curiosity, what's your current balance to the levy fund? Oh gosh. Um, yes, you know, round yes we are at 8.6. <clears throat> And it's a little, and, I, and it's an estimate because there are still some improvement projects that we have recommended funding and have been approved for funding, oh, that's haven't been spent yet. So um, 8.6 is a good uh, recommend or estimation of available funds. And so just to refresh my memory, we started out with 10 million. I mean, that was the, that was the second vote that was approved by, um, by the folks of Boise. And so we we've not spent we've not spent a lot of it. No, Madam Chair, the the um, last acquisition that we made in June of twenty twenty was the little property, and it was one point two million. Um, and the rest of that those funds that I am including in um, the sort of debit of that account relate to improvement projects. Okay. Thank you very much. I think we also heard a little bit of money from the past that we started. When we first began, you're correct. Um, like yes, yeah. There, I, I don't know if you heard that, Stacey. But... Yeah, I, I did. I did hear that. Yeah, thanks, Pete. That's my recollection as well. It was something in like the four hundred to six hundred thousand dollar range from the from the previous levy. Yeah, thank you. So, Matt. Um, if you don't mind, I'll just go through item C and D real quickly. Are you comfortable with that? Okay. Uh, I wanted to take a moment. Um, as you know, we've been implementing a pilot program on the Ridge to Rivers Trail system. It has been successful in that we have gotten some new experience with new management uh, options on the trail system, we've gotten good feedback uh, via email. Um, and our thought all along was, you know, these pilot management strategies and these um, at these specific locations were based off of the feedback that we received from about, you know, 4,400 trail users in the first survey in February that we conducted. We wanted to touch base again with trail users in the middle of the pilot program to gauge their experience. And so that's where we're heading into. That's the phase we're heading into now. Um, this month, I think on the 15th, we will be launching a survey to, like I said, touch base with users and gauge their support of each individual pilot strategy at each location. So you'll see some, um, hopefully, <laughs> you'll see some media coverage of that. You'll see signs up at the trailheads. We'll keep that survey open for two or three weeks, depending on um, how much engagement we get. Obviously, we want to keep it open and, and, and have as many people participate as possible. Um, and then that information will help to inform how we move forward through the next phase of the pilot program and then following up um, 
once it's over and it ends on November 1st. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, yeah, I do. Thank you for that update, Superintendent Arkell. What what kind of feedback are you getting? Do people do people like it? Do hikers like it? Do bikers like it? What do what do people think about it? We received a lot of feedback at the very beginning, uh, most of which was fairly positive. Uh, people enjoyed having the opportunity to be on Lower Hulls Gulch on days when they knew they weren't going to encounter other types of users, specifically downhill mountain bikers for hikers and hikers for downhill mountain bikers. Uh, so we've gotten a lot of positive feedback. Obviously, some folks are just you know not supportive of changing the management on trails they've been using for a long time. Uh, we've had some instances of people just straight up ignoring the uh, management program that's in place with the pilot. But for the most part, we've received pretty positive feedback. Um, it's hard though to gauge general feedback based on individual emails. And so that's why I wanted to go through this survey and a subsequent survey so that we can gather a lot of broad data and get some, some more general um, general feelings from users rather than just folks who feel compelled to email us. Uh, but in general, I think I think it's been a good thing. Um, and I'll be interested to see, you know, what, what the survey tells us about user experiences. In my own personal experience on the Bucktail Trail, the parallel trail, that works, that works nice. Yeah. And then it you know, allows those guys to fly down on the other one. It, that, I thought, okay, this works pretty good. <laughs> well, let's cool get to here. That's what we want to hear. <laughs> I, yeah, Matt, I, uh, I, I agree. I, from my personal experience, I think it's working great. And, and the, the mountain bikers I talk to are thrilled. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely thrilled to not have to worry about, you know, uh, disrupting, disrupting hikers and hikers kind of scrambling up on the side to get out of the way. And certainly, you know, not, not wanting to like hit hikers or runners. Um, it's, um, it's been, it's been really positive among the you know, positively received among the folks that I that I talk to. So um, it'll be, I hope that that lines up with the um, survey results we get back. Yeah. I mean, I'll just say this for the folks on the call or in the room who aren't, you know, familiar, as familiar with, with our uh, management situation as you all are, but, you know, we've been managing this ex ever expanding trail system the same way for 30 years. And I do think it's a success in and of itself that we've tried out some different management strategies, even if we decide as a community we don't want to do them. Um, I do think it's good that we're, we're testing these things and determining you know, what we want the trail system to look like for the next 10 years. So, okay, that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> uh, moving on to committee updates, Chair, Chair uh, Person. <laughs> Donahue, do you mind if I just move on? Please do, thank you. The only update I have today is um, our, uh, Team member Brooke Green, her, her, her committee chairmanship has, or not chairmanship, excuse me, her committee um, term, thank you, has expired. And she has chosen to not do it based on her um, ever growing uh, responsibilities within the legislature. It's just taking too much time. So we are sad to see her go. Um, we will be sending her a thank you note and a plaque. And I, I think if, if we can, I'd like to bring the thank you note to the group so everybody can sign it. Um, maybe I'll just reach out individually and have you come into my office or something like that. But um, I'm kind of sad to see her go. She's been with us from the beginning and she's been unable to attend a lot of meetings in the last couple of years due to the legislature. So it's probably the right choice for her, but she was a, a good addition to our group. All right, I'm looking at the agenda. Is there is there anything else that we need to discuss? It seems like we're at the end of it. That's correct, Madam Chair. <clears throat> we just need to move into executive sessions. All right, that sounds great. Um, I will. Uh, if if nobody is 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 dying to take this honor, I'll read the I'll read the tiny print here. Uh, pursuant to Idaho Code Section 74206, subsection 1C, to acquire an interest in real property which is not owned by a public agency, and Idaho Code Section 74-206, subsection 1, subsection F, to communicate with legal counsel for the public agency 
to discuss the legal ramifications of and legal options for pending litigation or controversies not yet being litigated, but imminently likely to be litigated. Need a second. Second that. Roll call. Prior. Here. Donahue. Here. Burr. Here. Myers. Here. Agilly. Here. Raver. Here. Elliot. All right, and then I believe we have some folks on the line. Um, Um, Hillary, Ryan, Sophia, at this time, we're going to go ahead and end the meeting for you guys when we go into executive session. So thank you. Okay. A motion to come out. Thanks. Thanks for that, Rob. Um, I'll entertain a motion to come out of executive session. I'll second it. So moved. Whatever. Quick roll call. Cryer. Yes. Donahue. Yes. Elliot. Is that Elliot? For did you say Elliot? Yes. I did. I got you. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Myers. Yes. Angeli. Yes. And Rayburn. Yes. Oh, because that was not on your agenda for executive. Is that why? It's because it's not part. It doesn't it's, conform it doesn't with the criteria. Exactly. Uh, uh, okay, Rob, are we are we cleared to continue this conversation now? You are. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. No um, Quick update on Cottonwood Creek daylighting. Um, if the committee will recall, they came back with um, a revised improvement project application due to the estimated cost of engineering and construction. The levy funds that were used were just to create final construction documents. So I think that's $96,000. Um, you, you had originally approved them for 200,000 and so had council, but given that that was not going to be enough to get the project done, we did, we salvaged the best we could at the project, got construction documents, and now the applicant is seeking additional grant funds to come back and ask for additional funding should we seek to actually implement the project. Okay. And it's more like a million, two, million, three, six months ago. Right. So I don't know what the cost would be today to be able to do that. Uh, gosh. Is there any pilot involved? <laughs> <laughs> no, but a lot of concrete. <laughs> so, and then I think we motion to adjourn. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Make a motion that we adjourn. All right. Is there a motion to adjourn? Yes. I'll second it. Uh, all, any any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. We are adjourned. Thanks very much, everybody. Good meeting. Thank you. Thank you.